The next point of relevancy is having a target date. A target date is going to create urgency. I have lots of people say that, you know, I've got a goal I want to lose 50 pounds. Great. When would you like to? Oh, whatever. Soon. Soon could turn into 50 years from now. <laughs> And how many of us have tried that? Yeah. Lots, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to set a target date for the goal that you just wrote down. Um, you want to make sure that's reasonable, but it's going to push you outside your comfort zone. If my goal, well, what is my goal on that sheet? 185. Yeah. If I said I want to be 185 by um, December 31st next year, way too easy. For me, if I said I wanted to be there by next Thursday, obviously not reasonable. So <laughs> I'll give you two minutes or less to uh, focus on a date that is reasonably challenging for you. Everybody comfortable with their dates? Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. Everybody? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So probably the most important part of this is that you create action steps. Um, the more action steps that you can create and rehearse in your mind, the more likely you are to obtain the goals. Pretty simple. You're going to encounter challenges. And if you don't have any idea of what to do when that challenge arises, um, you'll get flustered and you'll miss your goal. So it's very easy to get off track. So in some manuals, what they teach is that list your objections or possible um, challenges and then potential solutions to those when they come up. I think that's complicated. Um, I do like the action steps. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to write down as many action steps as you can. And I want you to remember that knowledge without action is powerless. So having these action steps is very, very important. So we'll give you three minutes. They can be big, they can be small steps.
Okay, everybody should have some pretty good action steps. Um, so this is just kind of a review now. <clears throat> what you want to do, or let me encourage you to do, is to go home and maybe over the weekend when you've got some more time, is to take a look at these six different areas. Now we didn't discuss purpose statement, which we will here in a second, but look at your personal goals, professional goals, people goals, prosperity goals, and play goals. Purpose statement, we kind of alluded to early on, those who don't have a purpose um, perish. So you have to take a look at who or what you want to be and what you want to do in life. The key is just to jot down thoughts. Right? This is kind of heavy when you start thinking about what is my life purpose. Um, and it may take months, it may take years, some people already know. Um, but I think it's very important that over time you work towards understanding what your own personal gifts and your purpose are or is. Once you've formulated that, the rest is all going to be a lot easier because everything should be congruent with that purpose. It should fall right into in a line. So personal goals, again, are about you. These are just examples. I want to weigh 45 pounds less. I want to exercise five days each week. I want to read two books per month. I want to pray for 10 minutes daily. Now, I also mentioned one of the, in one of the slides that it needs to be detailed. Are these very detailed? Not, no. not too bad, right? Not too good. Someone, um, someone take one of these phrases that are listed up here and make it more specific. Any volunteers? I'll do it. Okay. I want to pray for 10 minutes daily for a month. Awesome way more specific. If we didn't know if it was going to be a month or if it was going to be the rest of my life. We have no idea if we get two months out or not. We've already failed. How about um, what kind of books do I want to read? Do I want to read business books? Do I want to read self-help books? Do I want to read health books? You know, fiction, whatever. Um, what kind of exercise do I want to do? Do I want to do cardio? Do I want to do weights? Do I, yeah, do I want to walk? You know, so the more detailed you go with your goals, the better. Professional goals, again, are about work, but the same thing. I want to sell 10 million widgets. Well, what's my widget? What do I want to sell? I want to find and hire a consultant. Which consultant? I want to become the president of my company. Okay, that's a good one. I want to quit my job. Great, do it. Uh, people goals, again, meet Wayne Dyer. I want to help feed the homeless, reconnect with my parents, have a date night. Surround yourself with positive, optimistic people. You are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. This is a little exercise I do with patients one-on-one -on -one sometimes. But somewhere in a corner of your uh, paper, I want you to just put the first initial of the people you, the five people you spend the most time with. Go ahead and do that. Not in any particular order. Five Okay, if you don't have five yet, that's all right. We're just going to do the exercise anyway. So on a scale of one to five, one being they're very negative and pessimistic, have nothing good to say about anybody, and a five is the most upbeat, optimistic, happy person that you know, um, list the number next to each of those people you have listed, and then put your pen down. When you're done, get the sum total of those numbers and divide it by the number of names that you wrote down. So if you have five, you divide it by five. If you only had four, divide it by four.
Fellowship Man there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what else? Fellowship Man there. Yeah. You will be after today. So, everybody have those numbers? Mm-hmm. The numbers right off the side. You calculate the total, mm-hmm. divide that by the number of friends that you listed three, four, five, whatever it was. That is the average. That's you, basically. And if it's not bringing you higher, you want to reconsider those friends. You want to make sure you're spending time with people who are going to make you better, help you get better.